I've actually got a first aid kit right here. A, what the? What the? What? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. They've got me pinned in here. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get out? Thing is, I don't think I've actually, like, gotten the, uh, the blue poop. Whoa! What the fu- What? Ah, to hurt your eyes? I hope it hurts your eyes. I hope you're still alive. Get up so I can kill you again. Oh, man, I can hear it. It's- it's right there. Just barely out of- There it is! Uh, why do you have to stalk me like this? You don't need to do this, but- Oh, that is creepy. Oh, that is so creepy. See you later, bud. I guess I'm a smell or something. But guys, welcome back to Subnautica. Now, we are at our 3,000 meter base, I think. Where? Oh, whoa. Hey, hey, get out of here. Yo, you're not welcome here, okay? I didn't invite you over for Thanksgiving dinner or it's not Christmas. There's no special time in the occasion where you are invited to come here. So, you. okay, yeah, you're definitely invited. I can't move. Why can't I move? Let me move. Yeah, you get- Yeah, uh, okay. So, um, here's the plan! The plan is to leave this area and go up. We need to go to the Aurora and we need to grab the schematic. I think we do. We might have already get- Dude! Do you really- Oh, 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 that's scary. That's pretty creepy. They need to fix that so that they can't do that anymore. That was creepy as hell. <laughs> we need to go up. We need to get the schematic. I th we might already have it, to be honest with you. I think we might already have it. But yeah, um, we're gonna do that. I also need to talk to you about the Atlas submarine. I have a ton of new information and video footage of it. I spoke with the creator of the mod, and we basically made our made made up and made our differences, and you know all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit in depth about that actually for this video, because there's a lot of things you guys need to know. You need to go away. You. Oh, you can attack my base. It's cool, too. All right, but guys, as always, leave a like if you enjoy Subnautica. Uh, let's try and... Oh, yeah, let's do this. Um, the plan that I have is to go to the Aurora, uh, which is right there. And I need to get to the captain's quarters because there I'm going to find the schematics for what I need. Now, I could probably check, actually, to see if I have the rocket blueprints or not. Let me just take a look real quick. Um, blueprints... Vehicles, Cyclops, vehicle upgrade, prawn suit, mobile vehicle bait. No, I don't think I've actually... Thing is, I don't think I've actually, like, gotten the, uh, the blue... Whoa! What the fu- What? Ah, okay, okay, how about we don't say we did? Okay. Okay. All right, bucko. Okay, time for you to die. That's it. No, no, I am done with you! I said I'm done. Okay? You're going in timeout. By timeout, I mean I'm gonna slash the crap out of you until you die. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh. I, I went in the golden shower. I'm gonna stab the crap out of this guy. I don't care. Shut up. You're done for. This is it. You die. I need to make sure you're gonna stay here. Because I have, I have things to do. I'm gonna carve you up like a fresh turkey, okay? That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't move. Look at this. You can tell he's getting hurt, too. It's gotta suck. It's gotta suck so bad. You, 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 no, you're dead. I'm tired. I'm tired of these things spawning in and attacking me when I'm doing absolutely nothing. No, 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 no. You don't get to move again. Now you're dead. You see what happens? You son of a, you son of, yeah, you're not so tough anymore with your stupid mandibles and sharp teeth. Yeah, stab, stabby, stabby, stab. Gotta suck, hey? Yeah, this has to suck. Is it painful? Does it hurt your eyes? I hope it hurts your eyes. I hope you're still alive. Get up so I can kill you again. Anyways, um, we are making our way to the Aurora. We're going to get some rocket schematics. So, before we go to the Aurora and we do our rocket stuff, um, I needed to go over the Atlas again because there was a significant, a significant, wow, a significant update to the actual model and the interior. Now, I covered this, uh, I covered this creation a while ago. Um, actually, is this, we have a, we have a 3D thing here now, too? I didn't know this was, or did I know this was here? Let me just see if I can, okay, yeah, this is just an older version of it. I thought this would be like, I could actually walk around and, uh, and see, like, the inside of it and stuff, but apparently not. This model has been deleted. 
Um, but yeah, the Atlas submarine is something I covered a long time ago. Uh, well, actually last month, I think. Um, unfortunately, while covering this, I actually got a copyright strike uh, from the mod creator himself, my, which is Minder, uh, Tan Guy. Um, I actually had the chance to speak to Tan Guy in Discord over the last couple of days and stuff, and I've got to know, got, know the guy a little bit. He's actually an art student and he's French. Um, and we've just been speaking back and forth. Um, I asked him actually about the copyright strike and what happened, because the copyright strike was, was ultimately removed. Um, he, along with some other people, contacted YouTube and had the entire strike removed from my channel, which you guys know a copyright strike on a channel is a very serious deal. That is something that could, that could end a career, uh, which I enjoy making YouTube videos, so I would love to continue to make them on this platform. Just saying. But, um, he went out of his way to, to help fix the entire situation, and I wanted to put the word out there now that he's not actually a bad guy. Uh, a lot of people went after him after I made my video. I didn't realize that the community would step up to bat the way that it happened and as ferociously as it happened. Like, I didn't know people would actually, like, attack this guy over it. So I, I feel really bad about it. I feel really bad about the entire situation. Part of me was really mad because, you know, my channel was in jeopardy and I didn't do anything wrong. I, I followed fair use to a T. Everything was correctly done. But, um... It came down to a misunderstanding with Minder and YouTube. Uh, he wasn't trying to take the video down. He wasn't trying to copyright strike me. What he was trying to do was... Uh, he wanted me to change the thumbnail, I think, because the thumbnail was using his artwork of the Atlas, which, at the end of the day, um, it was heavily modified and it fell under fair use. It was, it was a fair use case, but I can understand that someone that doesn't deal with copyright and stuff, they don't really understand some of that stuff, so I can't fault the guy for not knowing. Now, I know some people will say, you know, ignorance isn't an excuse, but I mean, not being understanding, I, I can't comprehend that. You know, I can't, I can't just dismiss everything and, oh, there's that house again. I can't just dismiss everything and be like, oh, you should have known. No, it's, it doesn't work like that for me. Um, honest guy that made a mistake. That's all it was. And the mistake was partly on YouTube because he didn't want to take the video down. He didn't want to copyright strike me. Just, it's just, it's just the unfortunate circumstance of what happened because of the of the thumbnail stuff. But he has since apologized. I apologized to him in DMs. We're cool. Like, I love this modded submarine. I absolutely adore this thing. It is crazy. It's one of the coolest things, if not the coolest mod Subnautica will ever see. But I want to move into some video footage now that he actually gave me. One is a public video, I think. The other one is a private one of all the new stuff going on with the Atlas submarine. And, uh, well, he, he gave me that, and I wanted to use, I want, I guess I felt it was fitting to speak about this while, um, moving forward with this. Uh, both sides, I know I'm wrong, and Miner knows that he was wrong as well. Um, but both sides, we mutually agree, you know, like, it, it's, it's just a series of misunderstandings and mistakes. You know, we're only human. That stuff happens. He made a mistake. I reacted, I feel like the way I reacted was, was actually a mistake. I probably shouldn't have reacted the way that I did uh, towards it, but um, I guess when you're really passionate about something, you have a tendency to really lash out. He was passionate about his work. I'm passionate about the content that I create here on YouTube as a platform. Now, as far as the video goes, this is the exterior of the Atlas. Now, this is an outdated version of the exterior, but you can really get a sense of scale and size. This thing is gigantic. It is probably one of the biggest things you will ever see in Subnautica. By far. I actually don't know how you would traverse the map with a thing this large. Like this is this is a massive scope. Like you could fit you could fit a Cyclops inside of this pretty easily. You could just park a Cyclops in there and forget about it. That from my from what I understand, that is how big this submarine actually is. It is a massive massive underwater vessel the cyclops requires a three-man crew one very skilled person can use it so lore wise i don't understand how one person could pilot this entire submarine because it's gigantic unless it's specifically made for that but I, it's it's guys it's a cool mod i love it actually here's the top hatch a lot of you guys taught me about it too and how you actually get into it um now, a lot of this is just going to be, again, like the old footage that's there. I do have the brand new stuff coming up next, showing the new updated interior. It looks so freaking good. Um, I don't know the Subnautica devs or their take on this. 
I know they contacted me about the copyright stuff. They said that they actually hold the rights to this submarine um, because it's a modification for their game. So that under like I understand that. I'm pretty sure like most games are like that. If you create a modification for it, the game developers hold the ownership over the mod or something like that. They can use it. But to my understanding, that's how that stuff actually works. As you can see, brand new bridge, we got holograms, we can see to the left too, we just had a glimpse of it, the status of the submarine. And then you can see on the right, just like Subnautica devs have in their current game with the Cyclops, you can see exactly what's going on around you. I'm assuming it's some kind of sonar system. Don't know if it'll have a, a fire suppression system or not, but I mean, you can hope. I assume that's a main hatch right there that would go there like the giant circle one in the Cyclops. And then it has two alternative hatches you can use as well. So I guess it's just like in case one gets blocked off or something happens. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's actually a scanner room. I'm pretty sure that's like a built-in scanner room in that submarine. And then obviously you have two docking bays. I assume you can hold two Seamoths in there. Yeah, it's big enough to hold two Seamoths. You can see one Seamoth is there already. That's actually, that's crazy cool. These I think are lockers. Pretty sure they're lockers. Kind of sure, not really. Don't know what will be on that, on that hologram thing there, but it's still cool either way. More lockers. Dude, this thing has so much space. Uh, I'm not sure where those lead, actually. This leads, oh, this leads down to the Seamoths. A very similar uh, take on the back end of the Cyclops, for sure. And then you could see the Seamoth was there docked. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to resemble the Seamoth. Yeah, right there, you can see it. It's right there docked, and then there's room for one more. That'll be hung over your head so you can walk underneath. And you can see someone inside the Seamoth, too. That's kind of cool. So for scale, you can see just how big the submarine is. I wonder how it would sound. Now here, I think these are actually escape pods. I think that's how you get out of the submarine. We saw those last time, but they were very vague. We didn't understand what the deal was with those. We didn't, well, at least I didn't. People knew, but I was confused by it. Now you have a ladder right here. You can climb up. Bam, you're back on the bridge. Seems like everything goes down in the bridge, which is cool too. Uh, I kind of want to see the engine room. I I wish I could see the engine room, but unfortunately that's where the video ends. So ultimately the Atlas submarine is going to be something incredible. I hope the Subnautica devs change their mind and decide that they would like to work with Minder on this project or at least see it in the game. Maybe it could be a deep sea exploration vessel. It would be the very, very end game or something like that. You know, you had the option to go on the rocket and, you know, do stuff. Or you could go out to the dead zone and that submarine is big enough to handle ghost leviathans and stuff like that too. I feel like there are options that would be viable, but at the same time, you know, respect the wishes of the devs. If they don't want something, well, then ultimately they don't want something. And I wouldn't, I'd hate to see people try and fight them back on that because this is their game. This is, this is their baby. Now, I also know that another YouTube... Oh, oh God, no! Uh, just swim away. Just turn on my UI so I can see if I'm gonna die. Oh God, I can hear it. It's right behind me. I'll. Oh! I will kill you. I will end your life. I will do horrible things to you. I will hide inside a life pod. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna get inside here. Don't want to have to deal with anything out there. I don't have to deal with anything out there. I've actually got a first aid kit right here. Of a. What the. What the? What? Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. They've got me pinned in here. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get out? Oh, I hope they can't hit me through the wall. Oh. How about you don't? Oh, okay, I thought you don't say you did, but just go away. Leave me alone. Uh, oh, there's a PDA. I didn't see that. <laughs> I. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna power this thing up. Create a time warp. I should be completely safe. Oh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Hi. How you doing, Bucko? Oh, bam. Now you're gonna stay there. You want me, don't you? Yeah, you want me, but you can't have me. I'm too expensive for you. you can't afford me. Is there another one? Yeah, he's stuck there. All right, so let's keep going to the Aurora. Now, I want to make... Oh, cr oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, is the shield still up? Yeah, it's still there. All right, so I want to make a comment now on uh, something that actually happened with another YouTuber as well. Um, they go by the name of Double J. Uh, I've made videos with them in the past, actually. Um, there, there was a video that was made that was basically speaking about this entire situation uh, that had happened with the copyright strike and all of that. Um... I 
in my own personal opinion, feel like it was unnecessary for another content creator to jump on that topic uh, and use it as content for their own video um, without speaking to both sides. Uh, at no point did Double J contact me or find out the actual inside of what happened, because no one knows exactly what happened except for me and Minder. And we only came to the conclusion of what actually happened, uh, like, a night ago or two. I'm gonna grab that battery. But, I mean, for it to be thrown out there and not speak to both sides equally, he did state that he spoke to, uh, Minder a lot. Uh, but he did not actually reach out to me at all. He never did reach out to me uh, for a comment about it or what actually happened to try and clear things up a little bit. Um, I think at the end of the day, he was fairly neutral, but I do feel like that in some cases, in some instances, um, a side was taken. And it wasn't a neutral standpoint. It was... I'm not even sure how I'd explain it. But, um, stuff like that, I mean, like, I don't really appreciate Like, I know people like to talk about drama and what's going on in the, on the platform and stuff. But at the end of the day, too, it's kind of like, you know, you should at least learn about what you're talking about before you decide to open your mouth. That makes sense. Makes total sense to me. No ill feelings get Double J. Like, it's, it's not like I'm upset about a video or anything. Uh, I just wanted to point that out because some people have been coming to me about it and like, Hey, you know, why is this happening? This and that doesn't bother me. I don't really care. Uh, it looks like I haven't been inside here. Got a lot of med kits here too, which is convenient. Now I need to try and make my way through here. I thought I went through this on a live stream. Administration to the right, which means the captain's quarters. How do I not have this stuff? I'm almost sure that I, I picked this stuff up. Wait, propulsion cannon. Don't I need that fragment? I thought I needed that fragment. Hang on, where's my scanner? Uh, scanner right there. Do I need this? Oh, they changed the sound. Oh, no, I don't need it. All right, let's keep going through. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. It was just one big under misunderstanding. That's it. I, I really want you guys to show minor support. I, it would mean the world to me if you guys did that. Support the mod that he's making because it, it's ultimately a great mod. I love the idea of the mod. Ow! Why would you? Oh, there's a tiny, tiny baby fire right there. What's this? Did I download something? What's this? Battery? Is there anything? What, what did I just get? Um. Alright, well, it seems like I'm not going to find anything here worth messing with. I guess we have to go the other way. Wait, what's this? Uh, wait, that's a trash can. Don't need to mess with that. I guess we need to go down this way and see if we can get through the cargo bay. I think the cargo bay... Wait, but I've already repaired the Aurora too. I think it was the bottom section actually I had to worry about. 1454. 1454. Four. Bam. Just like that. So this is the cargo room. That was easy enough. Now, from here, I'm probably going the entire wrong way. With my luck, doing something horribly wrong. So unfortunately, I've come to find out that this does not have a code. Which kind of sucks, so I had to use the unlock doors cheat so I could open it. Because I want that schematic, and nothing is going to keep me from getting that. Now, we have a PDA, an Aurora poster, and a ship, and an audio log. What's this? Apparently, I've already gotten that. I've got the Aurora poster now. I feel like I've gotten this a long time ago. Can't take this. Integrate new PDA system. Neptune Escape Rocket. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters, specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It consists of five, it consists of five independently constructible elements, lot, the launch platform, the gantry, stage one, stage two, stage three, and then onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected which is obviously the gun. The gun is gone. Why do I have this still? Oh, whatever. I probably didn't click on it when I actually got the uh, thing. So that's it. It's called the Neptune Escape Rocket. Huh. And then the Aurora is right there. I kind of want to eat this and that and that and get rid of that. Now I can take that too. I feel like I've already been in here though. Maybe it was my last playthrough. Probably something like that. There's nothing in here. 
I think this was a room at one point. It had something to do, but now it's nothing. That's all. Wait, what is that? Wait, what? What? There's a, there's a, that's one of the, that's one of the, the people. That's one of the, the female crew members. That's so sad. Oh. It's kind of weird we don't see any bodies, actually. You'd think you'd find bodies. I mean, I would think so, at least. Let me just see what's in here real quick. So we have the rocket blueprint. We should actually be able to go back now. Ah, oh, crap. We're out of fuel. All right. That's not a big deal. Yeah, there's a lot of supplies in here. I guess what we're going to do is we'll... Wait, what's this? What's this PDA? Relationship contract legal recording. All right. Well, I guess we're going to leave... Oh boy! Alright, I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright, so we're back here now, but I feel like I should go to a different base. And I say that because the other base actually has a vehicle bay. That I can make stuff with. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go there instead. So I will see you in a second. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Alright. Caught you. Is your friend? Alright, I'm gonna have to kill these things. That kind of sucks. Well, might as well deal with it now, I guess, right? Holy shit. Okay. All right. Well. Hmm. 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 Oh. Wow, you died super fast. And this guy's stuck now too, which is good. Now I can deal with him. And there we go. You're dead. All right. Easy enough. Sucker. All right. That took a lot of hits. Damn. <sighs> All right. So these guys were dealt with in a timely manner. Now I can actually keep moving down this way. Damn. I gotta find a way to move those bodies. Uh, where is my vehicle? There they are right there. Now I should have the option to make the Neptune escape rocket. I should at least have it. Yes. Right there. What would happen if I tried to make this right now? Give me a second. Titanium ingot and computer chip. I wonder if I can do that now that I've learned the blueprint like that. That'd be kind of cool. Let me just see if I have the stuff to do that. I'm just curious. I'm just curious what'll happen if I try and use this. I'm gonna save my game just before I use this, just so I don't lose my resources. Ah, oh, crap. I need two. Give me a second. Here we go. Alright. Let's see if we can do this now. I didn't know we needed a power cell, too. It didn't say that before. Right, let's see what happens if we try and make this right now. It took my resources. Nothing? Not a zip zilch? I get nothing from my hard earned resources? Really? What a ripoff. I can't even use the vehicle bay anymore. What? Oh, now I can. It definitely took the resources, though. Damn. That kind of sucks. Alright, well, whatever. Anyways, we got the blueprint at least, so. That's the main thing. We got the rocket, rocket blueprint, and we also got to look at the Atlas submarine. But guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below on all of this and what happened, at least, with the Atlas. Um, it was really just an unfortunate circumstance, I think. It's just it's just unfortunate how everything went down. Shouldn't have gone down that way, but there's not really much we can do about it now. We can just move on. Guys, I just want you to show love and compassion for Minder. Um, the guy's mod is good. It is arguably a very, very good mod. And I am I enjoy looking at it. Like, I enjoy... Can I put this down? Damn it, Minder, this is your fault. I can't put this down because of you. There we go. All right. I was clicking the wrong button. So it's my fault. <laughs> Guys, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Now you know what happened. You've been filled in, I guess. But I will see you in the next video.